Howdy folks, all Hezzy here, not in the cabin today, relaxing in my lounge. But I wanted to make a new video, and this is where I was, and so here's the video. So, two parts to this one. Number one, I wanted to show you this cool new Dan Electro that I've just picked up. Check this colour out. It's blue sparkle. Oh, I'm loving that. Very me. Wanted to give you an idea what it sounds like, just acoustic, unplugged, how resonant it is. Really pleasantly surprised with that one. Sounds great, feels great. Which leads me to point number two, which is my reason for this video, because instead of me saying, as they do on YouTube, oh, I think this is my opinion, I'd like some of your opinions, because we're all guitarists, we're all here to help each other. We should take an opinion on, but it doesn't mean it's the right opinion for you. Let's share some thoughts here. Is there a guitar, a guitar brand, a guitar model that you've played or never played because you've been under the impression that it wasn't going to be a very good guitar. Um, something that you thought wasn't going to give you the right sound that you want, or just looked like it wasn't a very playable instrument, a bit basic. Um, because for me, the, the Dan Electro um, kind of represents that a little bit for myself. Um, I've never kind of played the odd one here and there, but never thought it would be a guitar where I could, I could gig this and use it for anything. Um, I must say though, having spent a bit of time with this one, I'm very wrong in that. I'm quite impressed with how well it plays and the kind of sounds that we can get out of it. Um, I think it's helped certainly by the bridge. You can see there we've got a wraparound bridge, sort of like Jimmy Page had on his one back in the day. I think it helps with playability. But this one, great with chords, open chords, bar chords. But things like bending and soloing, it's not like a slow guitar at all, feels fast to play. I mean, you've got a little bit, I um, should really do this in a review, <laughs> but a little bit of a hindrance here, because if we're kind of moving up the neck, your hand is going to hit this bit. So it's a bit tricky to get up to that fret there. But that said, you know, it's, it's still an awesome playable guitar and does the job really fine and looks really good. So that is the question I want to pose to you. Is there something you've come across, like a Dan Electro, where you thought, no, I don't think that's really going to tick the boxes for me, but you've played it, uh, you've seen someone else play one, and for some reason thought, wow, that is okay, it seems like it could actually be really good. And sometimes something a bit different. So if you're a player who is more into Les Pauls or Strats or anything else around those models, something like this could be a little bit out of left field to want to go to. Is that a good thing? Is that a refreshing change to have something completely different to the thing that you normally use? So I'd love your thoughts on this one. So tell me any guitars that you've never tried but always have wanted to. Any guitars you think you've been a bit afraid to try to think, I'm not sure that's really going to cut the mustard to do what I want it to do. And let's see what we have going on there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that one. Um, Apart from this one, another guitar I'd love to give another try, uh, some Rickenbackers, because I always thought they looked awesome. My dad had uh, like a jam greatest hits on, that means vinyl, 12-inch <laughs> vinyl. And I always remember looking at the back and looking at Paul Weller with his 330 and Bruce Foxton with his bass, just thinking, wow, that looks really cool. Then I tried a, a copy of a Rickenbacker and it really wasn't cool. But then was it because it was a cheap copy and it wasn't a very good guitar anyway? Um, so for me, I'd love to try another Rickenbacker and kind of see, right, I wonder if I can get on with it now I'm a little bit older, a little bit wiser, a little bit more mature, and just see what kind of sounds it can get. Um, another thing kind of about these guitars, think about players like Jack White, how is it, another question for you folks, is it a good thing to, do, to use a guitar to play a guitar that is a bit different from the usual ones, the usual suspects we come across, you know, our Fenders, our Gibsons, our Strats, our Les Pauls. Have you used a guitar like this and found it made you a more unique player? Did Because certainly what I find is, I uh, don't know if you find this, if I play on a Strat, I'll probably play in a slightly different way than I would on a 335 or a Tele or something like a Gretsch, you know, I think it, you do adjust your playing a little bit to match. Certainly the first time I got my BB King Lucille, I had to get used to <laughs> the body being a lot bigger. So I just felt like my elbow had gone right up here compared 
to Les Pauls and Tellys I was used to playing. So do you think that's a positive thing to do, to use something that is different? I'd love you to let me know. So please comment down below. Um, like, if you haven't already, please subscribe. The numbers are coming up. I've been a bit quiet lately, but people have still been subscribing, so I appreciate that. Been very busy, got a new project on the go at the minute. I'll leave a little link for that down below. Yeah, let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. Um, do you think I'd get on with the Rickenbacker? Let me know that. I really need to know. <laughs> okay, but let me know what you think. That's the important thing. And I hope you folks have an awesome day doing some playing. I'll catch you later and happy twanging.